Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for attendance. Uh, this is a very important interaction between the SPLM, National Secretariat, and the media. And it is intended to give a positive information to the people of South Sudan, also to the international community, on the propaganda, a wicked one, that is concerted against the SPLM Secretary General Comrade Peter Lambert. This is on two counts. One, there is a video clip. It's a small part of a bigger speech which was picked up by people who have an intention to incite and agitate hatred and violence among our people. Second, there is also a statement in the social media which is signed by someone, uh, it's called uh, Oyad. This Oyad Nathaniel also made a statement and it is also in the social media. In that statement, he has stated two things. They claim that Comrade Peter Lombo made a hit speed to incite violence. The second, he said the communal violence which are taking place all over the country are a political tool to divide people of South Sudan by the SPLM. This is very wicked and it is ridiculous because SPLM all along from its foundation has been the uniting factor for the people of South Sudan to wage a liberation war. It is not this time that the SPLM can divide its people. So on that note, it has to be stated categorically that the statement which Comrade Peter Lam made was not intended to destroy peace or dismantle peace as claimed by these uh, people, this group. And since this uh, Oyad Nathaniel is a, is a duty to Riyadh Machar, it means that he's the I.O. now articulating this. So let us recall facts. Who has been responsible for violence in this country? It's not the SPLM. The only thing happening now is that Comrade Peter Lam is a victim of the scenario, say the truth and the truth shall set you free. He is just hitting on the fact that violence in this country has been caused always by the I.O. in person of Riyadh Mecha. But he was addressing it when he said that Riyadh was telling people that his war was against the Dinka. That's what, what triggered all, all this, which is true because the soldiers who used to come back in during this, all these conflicts used to come and say that we have been misled. We are told that we are fighting the Dinka. They say it. They say it over the media many times, and it is in the archive. So Peter Lam was advising the people of South Sudan that don't use ethnicity. One mention of Yang Machar was an example of those of Malum, those of Pagan, those of Peter Chirilo, who are actually articulating on an ethnic basis, appealing to the ethnic sentiments. So mentioning this was actually telling the people of South Sudan, don't go ethnic and especially don't go violent. If you have a case, you have a political program, please tell the people of South Sudan to do it. But this has been taken out of context. And I would like to mention this. One, the people of South Sudan don't again be agitated by these hypocrites. Because this kind of hypocrisy is the one that is being utilized these days for political games. They will clash our communities to fight and kill each other just because you want to be put as a general or you want to be a vice president or you want to be a minister. 
These things are things of the past. Let us understand ourselves as communities. Also, there is no vice president, a tribal vice president or a tribal general, a tribal minister. These things are not there. If you are there, you are for the whole nation. You are not for a specific community. And this needs to be very clear to people of South Sudan. If they don't get it right, please always ask the questions. Never, never again let the blood of South Sudanese be in your hands, please. Don't let it be your responsibility for people to die because of you. People who are saying these things, they are saying it because they need bigger positions by articulating violent ideas among our people. So, the clip in the social media by Comrade Peter Lam was to stop the rebellion, and it was a bigger speech. It was a bigger part where he was talking on different things, and he came to address rebellion. We want to liberate our people mentally to come out of that uh, being hostage.